Hey guys, this is Michael here. I'm going to teach you how to play Thomas Rhett's. Um, look what God gave her. It's a very easy song. It's a very poppy song. It's this very good song. I like it. Um, and it's very easy to play. Of course, there's other guitars playing in with the song when you listen to it on the radio. So it sounds, you know, it sounds better. But the acoustic version of the song only has four chords and the rhythm part of the song is played you know, the, the, this way that I'm going to teach you, um, you just got to learn the strum pattern. So let's go over the chords. I'll tell you what the four chords are in order. And then you're just going to repeat them over and over and over again. You just keep on repeating them the entire song, okay? All right, so the first chord, I'm just going to go over the chords, and then I'll teach you how to p play each chord. So the very first chord, chord um, of the song is going to be an A minor 7 which is basically an A minor without your uh, pinky finger. And then it goes from an A minor seven up to a G. And then from a G, it drops down to you an E minor. I still leave these two fingers planted. It just sounds better. So it goes to an E minor and then from an E minor, it drops and comes down to a D. Okay, and then that's the four chords of the song. Now, for you beginners out there who are learning how to play this song, those are the four chords, but here's how you play them. If you don't know how to play them, I'll zoom in a little bit closer. Play the, the chords. Okay, so to play the first chord, an A minor seven, you're gonna put your first finger onto the second string of the first fret. Oh, by the way, let me go over this with you. Uh, my guitar, the reason I have a capo on the first fret is because my guitar is tuned in uh, E flat. It, when it's open, it's not it's not tuned into it's not tuned in standard E tuning. It's just E flat. So in order to get this get my to instead of retuning my guitar, I just put a capo on the first fret, and then then now that's open E tuning. So it's standard E tuning. So this now becomes your first fret instead of this one. This is your first fret now. So, to play your first song, you're gonna put your first finger or first finger into on the second string of the first fret, and then you're gonna skip a string, and then you're gonna go and put your second finger onto the fourth string of the second fret, and you're gonna play that two times. You're gonna play. Watch this drum. I'm just literally. That's the whole. That's what I'm doing the whole time. And then you go from there. So that's the first, and that's called an A minor seven. Now the second one is a G chord. To play a G chord, you're gonna switch up here and put your first finger into the second fret on the fifth string. You're gonna put your middle finger onto the sixth string of the third fret, and then you're gonna take your ring finger and put it onto this second string right here. And you're gonna put your pinky finger on the first string, both of them in the third fret. And it's gonna sound like this. No string should be muted. So if you can, if you can't strum down like that and make a nice clean sound, you got to figure out a different way to grip it, okay? Or it's not going to sound good. Now the third, the 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 third of, um, chord of the song is very easy. It's an E minor. Some people play it with their two fingers like this, without anything. But for this song, we're going to keep our two finger roots right here planted. So when you go from a when you go from an A A minor seven to the G, you're not gonna move them pinkies when you go to the a E minor because the way I play a E minor, I just push my finger between my first finger in between the fifth and the fourth string to get it, and it sounds the same if you do it like this. So I use one finger. To get that now to play the D from the fourth string down you're gonna mute it with your thumb okay to do a D chord you put your first finger into the second fret on the third string you put your second finger onto the first string of the second fret and your third finger right here on this string that has nothing on it and you put it right there on the third fret and it should be really clean you got to watch out because it's this is easy to mute if you mute it you're gonna either sound like that. You gotta have a good clean. Okay. 
Okay, so that's how it's played. Now here's how it's played very slowly. And it goes, and this is how you change. Oh, excuse me, here we go. Okay, and that's how you change. All right, that's the whole song. I'll go over it one more time and let you hear how it sounds. See if you can play along with it. That's the whole song. It's that easy. So if you are into playing easy country songs, subscribe to my channel, like it, share it with your friends, um, learn how to play guitar, pick one up, learn how to tune it, and then learn how to play it. Get you an earbud, put it in your ear, put the song on your phone, grab your guitar, um, play the chords I showed you how to play, learn the timing from the strum pattern and um, learn the song. It's that easy, brother, it's that simple. Or sister, whoever's learning how to play. But anyways, I hope y'all, I hope this was helpful. I hope that you learned something from it. And I hope you have fun with the song. Like, subscribe, and share. Thank you, or even comment.